It's early morning in the Sawabi district in northwestern Pakistan. Health workers accompanied by armed police officers are going door to door as part of a polio immunization campaign. They administer the oral vaccine to children younger than five and mark each house to keep track of the numbers. It may look like a simple process, but the work is risky and the pay relatively poor. Some health workers and polio survivors say they receive only $5 a day and no transport or health benefits. This is the only job we have to earn a living for our families. Administering the drops is not easy. We are under constant threat of being attacked, even killed. But we don't have any other option. Either we're killed in the field or we face economic hardship. The police officers keep a close eye on the team. Their assault rifles at the ready to foil any attack. The government says at least 102 polio field workers, officials and security personnel have been killed, six of them this year. Polio duty, the police, the told the... Providing security to polio vaccination workers is the most difficult duty we have. It's not only them who are under constant threat. We are equally vulnerable. The work is carried out predominantly by women in a conservative country where men are not allowed inside houses. Polio immunization is risky business in Pakistan as dozens of polio workers and policemen have been targeted over the years. But that has not dampened their spirits in a bid to come to grips with a virus that is still endemic in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The Prime Minister recently chaired a task force meeting along with philanthropist Bill Gates, whose foundation is funding the campaign. He says he's committed to rooting out the virus. We were almost close to wiping out uh, uh, polio from the face of Pakistan. But then suddenly, unfortunately, things took a you know, negative turn and uh, it has again come back in certain parts of Pakistan. But that does not mean that we have failed in our efforts. However, scientists have cautioned the large population, cross-border movement and vaccine hesitancy are challenges to completely eradicating polio. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Sawabi District, Khyber Pukhtunkhwa Province, Pakistan. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.